I was very quiet growing up, very timid and shy. My mom would say this all the time, that I never tried anything because I was scared and I always be behind her, hiding. But dance allowed me to really come out of my shell. When my mom immigrated to the U.S., uh, I was five years old. While I was growing up, my mom and stepfather at the time were just really working so hard and I think most of their money went to pay the rent, buy the food, and also to pay the lawyers that they had hired so they could get citizenship in the U.S. and their case could be passed. And then also some of it was being sent to my grandma and great-grandma at the time. So everything they were doing was to support us and their family. I started, it's almost like saying I'm a, I was a self-hating Mexican. And that really happened when I found out I was undocumented because I thought it's so unfair that I've been here and I never knew about it. And now that I'm going through this, I just realized that my whole life can't go further. I can't have a future. I did discover dance almost at the same time that I discovered that I was undocumented. And so I would realize that while I'm in school, training and all that, that I'm dancing and I was able to just push those thoughts aside, you know, leave them at the door. And then I would stop, I'd go home and then I would just tense up more and I'd be back in this present, this different present that uh, restricted me so much. And it was in a very hopeless, kind of like very negative mindset that I started developing. So that is how and why I started changing my name to Gabriel instead of Gabriel. And I just didn't want to reference anything of my past. And the conversation was always in the present and how I am a part of this community, even though at the time I wasn't. I didn't want to talk about being Mexican because that's not what I wanted to be. That's what I thought was um, at the time shameful. I. I was afraid to let people know that I'm from Mexico because I was afraid that I would be deported and I always wanted to be a part of this. And so me assimilating and being more what I thought American was, which is blonde, you know, with fair skin and blue eyes, that's what I wanted to be. And so I would not, you know, go out in the sun as much. I would dress with lighter colors or whatever made my complexion lighter. When DACA came out, it was almost like a safety net that, and just a bit of a weight off our shoulders and that we were able to really voice our opinion. So I was able to be more comfortable in sharing now that yes, I come from immigrant roots and I'm, I was born in Mexico, my name is Gabriel. So I share that now because now that I feel more safe than I used to. I, I don't regret going through a stage in my life where I hated myself for being Mexican and in any sense it's made me appreciate more where my roots came from. I look back at it and I'm just like oh, I was so awful for thinking that and for you know treating myself and having thoughts about my community that always deported me um, for thinking like I don't want to be part of this you know I want to be in this other better uh, standing than they are. Um, it's allowed me to reflect a lot on that and I don't know had, had I not discovered dance when what kind of lifestyle I would be leading or how my emotions would be at the moment. What's satisfying about dance is that it really just connects your whole being into one. Three, four years ago I was able to start thinking how can I combine dance and my story and then that's when it really came to me that the opportunity I was given for being a dreamer, presently I use my art form and my status to show who I am and to show who other people are that are in my situation as well. Yeah, there's 800,000 dreamers, but I now think about the 11 million immigrants who are here. And that's not something I will ever be away from. I will always, in a sense, be an immigrant. It's been a driving force, that's for sure. But I just have to continue pushing to make sure that people see the value and all the care and all the focus that I put in things because I believe in them and I hope that they can believe in me too.
Thank you.